with some armor. Maybe he'll share. Do you want to share, guy? Is that a no? Alright, anyways, so today I want to put a roof on our storage depot. You know, so we can safely work here. I actually have something very special that I want to do up here in the middle. I would really like to add a special sort of chandelier. I have it planned out. I think it will look pretty rad. But we'll see, obviously. I mean, once it gets built. But, whoa! 1.9 is coming out, and it's a really exciting update. So many things are changing, you know, the battle techniques, everything. It's lovely, and I'm really excited for it. I do have a. I don't really know how Mojang is going to deal with this all. I have a couple of, I guess, questions. Well, not really concerns, but things that I maybe wouldn't have done. Then again, looking at it, maybe I would have done it. So I'm obviously not really in a position to say any of this. But with the new arrows, I mean, potion arrows is a brilliant move by Mojang. I mean, special arrows. It's been done before in mods and plugins and whatnot. And it's pretty fun. The only thing I don't like is when they get put as. Uh, what do they call uh, Where you can use an infinity bow on them. Because then it's kind of like having infinite potions. And I don't particularly like the idea of having infinite potions. I mean, rather, I really like the idea, but I just feel it's a little oddly overpowered. You know? I mean, being able to infinitely be invisible, or infinitely give yourself speed just by dropping an arrow on yourself, sure, you use a little health, but, I mean, what does it really matter? So... That's my hesitation with 1.9. Now, that doesn't in any way mean that I'm opposed to 1.9. And it's more of a everyone generally, people don't react well to change. And I think I may be a prime example about that. That all these change in mechanics is a little kind of terrifying. Not really terrifying, obviously. I mean, what, what is this? But. It's just, it's different, and it's like, oh, well, I kind of liked how it used to be, and stuff, but, you know, it's just, I don't know, but whatever whatever they do, I'm sure it's going to be phenomenal, so I'm going to leave it up to the experts and see when 1.9 comes out. I've been excited to see all the new features of this. Whoa, F, I don't have any food. That all the new features have. But, yeah, so I'm going to pop out and actually finish at least a portion of the roof. And I'm going to come back. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Oh, my goodness, guys. It has just happened. It's ridiculous. There are two. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. Okay, now there's one. There, there's only one now, but there were two, where is he? There he is, two invisible spiders chasing me. It is so freaky. These guys are really creepy. I mean, look at this. Look at those eyes. Those eight eyes just... Oh, now they're, oh, whoa, now they're dragging me in. I mean, it's just freaky. And they leave these particle effects. I mean, it's not cool. Now, the reason I'm out here is because I ran out of bones, and I need bones. And I did find a skeleton spawner, but it's a long ways away, and it hasn't been... This is the weirdest glitch ever, is all the two high flowers only show their halves. I don't know why. So, anyways, I'm on a mission to find skeletons and get skeletons. I only have four bones right now. It's kind of lame. I mean, that equates into how much bone meal? Twelve. That'll get me, like, one tree. Which, granted, would probably be enough wood since I'm using the giant spruce, but, you know, it just, it really, I don't know. I hate having, oh, whoa, there he is. There's another one. Or is that the same one? I don't know. 
There we go. Now with the spiders chasing it. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm after you actually, not you. All right, so I think it's great that we're getting rid of the spam click in 1.9. Although I have to admit it's gonna be really hard to get used to. Yes, another bone. Just one though. Bones are so hard to get when you need them. So plentiful when you don't. We really need a mob spawner, but I've got a lot of other things to do first, so don't expect that anytime soon. I mean it's only gonna take like four episodes to finish the storage room alone, so whatevs. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. While we're all in the mood for a memory. And you've got us feeling alright. Another thing I can't wait for on 1.9 is boats to be fixed. I believe that they are getting fixed. I've been waiting for boats to be fixed ever since boats were introduced. I mean, boats have been a pain. They're just so glitchy, especially on servers. So I am really looking forward to the boats getting patched. Eh, I don't, you know. It, I mean, it would make waterways kind of convenient. It's kind of like boats are only useful for crossing oceans. It'd be kind of nice if they were a little more versatile. Also, bringing a pit along. I believe that was one of the features that's coming in. Or at least is being played with. I don't know if it's going to be a final. But I mean, imagine bringing a horse and a boat. It would just make things incredibly awesome. So I am now going to work on what I went out to do, and that is getting wood because we need wood for today's project, although this tree doesn't seem to be growing. Bizarre. Anyways, so I'm going to cut my wood and get on with life. Look at it, it's coming together. We're getting part of the domed roof. I'm kind of feeling excited. So we're gonna have to eventually fill this all in with dirt. And I think I'm gonna make like a, I don't know, a, fell down, pond out of it. But we're gonna work on one of my favorite details. One of my favorite blocks. I love note blocks. I just find them to be a wonderful decoration. You know, not the kind of decoration that you put everywhere, but the kind that you just adorn kind of like the edges with. And it, I know it looks like I'm putting them everywhere now, but in the final, you won't really see much. Although actually those you will see a fair amount of. And wow, they, yeah, kind of expensive, but like I said, I just, I really like the effect that they give. It's just kind of mellowing and, I don't know, it's just, I just plain like them. I guess that's what it boils down to.
so yeah um yeah so what we're doing here is putting in the sides of this now right underneath of the note blocks is where we will put the chandelier so the chandelier will go right below the note blocks and that way the note blocks aren't really seen oh forgot a side the note blocks aren't really seen just a sliver so we'll see that much of the note block because the bottoms of the note blocks will be covered and it adds it kind of gives it the nice effect then so this is then what the vaulted roof will look like except without those note blocks so just kind of an adornment at the top i think it i think it'll be nice but anyways on to the more important things being the chandelier now that i had to go into the nether get a little bit of glow stain to make the red stain lamp you know all the boring stuff normal every day but now that i've got it we can work on actually putting in this said uh Oh, there we go. I just have to shift click. This said chandelier. So, the way I have it is four of these. And then one up, but here's where the special decoration starts coming in. Is that we're going to have a glass kind of pane system going down out of it. So, in order to cover up the holes, we got to put half step here, 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 and here, and then we surround the base with um, these guys, whatever they're called. Sandstone stairs, wow, my brain is melting today, maybe it's because of the coke, not like powdered coke, you know, like the edible kind, don't anyone, oh actually these were supposed to go one down, there we go. So once these are in place, we'll just need to put the glass panes in. So I, in my exploration of the nether, I discovered that the nether fortress is actually ridiculously close to our house. We just had to go the other way. So we must have made some sort of loop. I don't know. Sorry, not our house, our portal. You know, thinking of that, that is something that really needs to get done as well. Because our portal is ridiculously far away from our house. And if it's at night, it's, well, kind of dangerous. You know, because the portal's in the dark. So it might be a good idea for us to do that at some point. But we'll see what happens. There's plenty of work to be done, like I said before. And anyone who plays Minecraft knows you're never really out of projects. You just might be bored with doing the one you want, you need to be doing at the moment. But, yes. Okay, so now we can work on putting the panes in. I do really like having an efficiency five pick. Say, so, once you get used to it, you can never go back. The danger with having sweet tech. So we'll bring it down like this. And then one more. Right there. And that... Oh wait, oh maybe these weren't supposed to go there. I'm thinking that these were supposed to go here. Yes, okay, so, my bad, I made a mistake. I was right the first time. I thought I was right. I knew I was right. It's all a joke. I'm just, just, um, just testing you guys, you know. Just, I, I knew from the start how this was supposed to go. There we go. Last thing left to do is get it hooked up. Do I have enough stuff for a lever? Yes, I do have enough stuff for a lever. Okay. So with the lever here. Woo! Oh, makes sound too. Which means we can put some cords in there, maybe if there's some sort of automatic light switching someday or something. 
Oh, I turned them off. Whoops, got to leave them on. There we go, on, tons of notes. And there, I think that is quite a grand chandelier. For some reason, oh, drat. I built it one block too high. I meant it for it to be one block lower. Interesting. Well, this does kind of put a kink in the plant. See, it just kind of looks a little oddly large, you know? Like, I want, okay, the chandelier should be kind of low to the ground. Unless we bring it down one, no, but I think that's, we could try that. Bringing it down one more from here. Does that look cool? Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe we'll leave that as a chandelier. Although I kind of liked those weird blocky edges. Oh, and actually we can, we don't have to do that. So I'm using not I'm not using my normal pick because my normal pick doesn't have silk touch on it. Sorry, not pick axe. So that's why I'm using a different one. I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna have to lower it. So I'm gonna do that off camera because that is not going to be any fun. So that pretty much, except for oh that mistake, that is a mistake interesting way is if you jump up and down you can break blocks that are beyond your reach I don't exactly know why because it shouldn't it should just retract it but it doesn't seem to take away the uh, it doesn't seem to take away the progress when you jump down if you jump up rapidly so like a trick for trees I use this mostly in trees is I'll jump up and down to get the last tree. That way I don't have to build up. And I don't know if it's actually faster or if I'd just be better if I just built up a block in order to get it. But, yeah. But, okay, so the room's cool. It's nice. This is going to be our input chest. It's trap chest, so, you know, items won't go away. But for now, it's just going to be a regular storage. We haven't put anything in here yet. King of the Jacks is on vacation again. He just loves going out of town. But, so, yeah, this will be a wrap for today, so thank you for joining me. Can't wait for 1.9, and we'll see you in the next episode, which I also can't wait for. Alright, see you all later. Bye.